earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel, Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. First and foremost, oh my gosh, how perfect. I was going to say thanks for your patience, and then you get temperance. Yeah, you guys have been my little angel squad out there. Angel gang. Um, yeah, thank you for your patience. Your reading is a week late indeed. Life got busy. It's eclipse season, baby. <laughs> We've come to expect it. So uh, if you're here and you're showing up, thank you for, uh, for understanding my delay. Let's uh, not waste too much time and get into your reading. So this will be a general for... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Anyone is welcome into this general tarot reading. I just ask you come in with an open heart and an open mind. Take away only what resonates and release the rest. Um, feel free to revisit this message at a later date too. Sometimes the messages will make more sense in the future. All right, you are accountable and responsible for all your own actions and decisions. Oh my God, oh my God, Earth Signs. I was about to call you Capricorn, that's funny. Um, that looks that looks awesome. Uh, accountable and responsible for all your own actions and decisions. Let's hop in, let's have some fun. Uh, first card, it was perfect. I feel like this was a message for me to relate to you all, <clears throat> that patience is a virtue, um, especially in times of chaos or, I'm always wanting to say when you're feeling defeated or disappointed or something is delayed and it's beyond your control, that's when you sort of have to surrender to the divine and understand that the timeline might not be up to you, the timeline might not be what you were hoping or anticipating, but it doesn't mean things aren't in the works behind the scenes. For some of you, I'm getting doctor from this. Um, and so I don't know if that's, I mean, I'm sure that will be a personal message to you guys in different ways, but I'm hearing doctor. Um, frequently the temperance card we can look at as some sort of like healer, the alchemist, you know, passing, passing, you know, healing waters through the cups back and forth. Um, it is also the blending of fire and water. So the idea of a blending of opposites. Um, so that could speak of some sort of merging and in, in partnership, romantic partnership, any type of partnership. Um, and I think part of it may defy your expectations a little bit. Um, and there is a huge need for you guys to be patient in the coming weeks. I actually wanted to start here. This isn't just out for, <laughs> for no reason at all. Um, I've been using this new deck I got off of Etsy, Movie Quotes Tarot. And uh, it, was, it was on my table when I started your reading and I pushed it aside and this one just kind of separated itself from the pack. And I just thought it was cute. It's like little ins inspirations and, you know, foods for thought from movies. Um, and so this is from Pixar's Up. You guys know that with the little Boy Scout and the, the house tied to the balloons and all that. Um, so Russell says, the wilderness must be explored. So that might be a message for my for my earth signs this week. It's really funny. I keep wanting to call you guys Capricorn. Um, and there's, there's no bias or judgment there. So I apologize for all my Virgo and Tauruses. But for some reason, Capricorn energy is coming through very strong. So some of you might be dealing with one or collaborating with a Capricorn. Or, or of course, that might be you. Um, anyway, uh, reasons to, and I think uh, even more so with this message, the idea of knowing limits and boundaries and then understanding sometimes we're meant to move outside of those. Sometimes they become restrictive. Sometimes they become a prison. Um, so sometimes it is about off exploring the unknown, right, into the wilderness. So that came out and I wasn't sure if it was a message for the earth signs, but I think it is. So I'm, I wanted to share it with you. So let's hop in here. So patience in communication and messages and coming back and forth. Some of you are, are knee deep in like research or trying to understand in a more deeper sense the process of something, um, fact finding, collecting data, maybe uh, plugging in some numbers, maybe you're working with your budget, especially with this 10 of pentacles. Some of you, you're guarding your money. Uh, I mean, that's a perfect, perfect message for the earth sign. Sorry, guys. I said it. Um, but it might be warranted here. So let's let's see. I think this is not settling for lowball offers, especially in some sort of job. It could be what you're protecting is your money and your assets, but also your value and your worth and your resources, because whether you are male, female, earth sign, fire sign, whatever the heck you are, whatever you associate with, it's a, I almost see this as like you're guarding your worth and, and sort of your title as the king of wands, right? And I mean, here the king of wands is actually shown in a more feminine form, so very much open to interpretation, but I almost feel like you may be being asked to practice patience in terms of what you're willing to accept or get yourself involved in that really doesn't meet your high standards for yourself. I don't think it's uh, materialistic. I don't think it's greedy. I think it's just you're being very protective of your little nest egg or what you've built up to this point. Because the thing is, if this is someone making you a job offer or a romantic offer or whatever, it's almost like you are the king of wands, but this person may only see you as a page. So they may look at you and again, give you some sort of lowball offer. And I don't know, I think it's saying, 
if someone is going to welcome you on board or however you want to say it, like you have a, a tremendous amount of passion and, ooh, did you hear that, that ding? <laughs> I think that's important. You have a tremendous amount of passion and energy and effort to offer this. So this person might not see the potential in you, but it doesn't mean it's not there. You know, that's just their interpretation of it. So I think it's saying something else is going to come from this, but it's almost like you guys are tempted to rush the process and, and take the first thing that comes. And, you know, you guys if, if, who are returning, you know I'm not going to say, well, don't. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just saying the vibe of this this week is that you have a lot of good things here, but it's, I just I want to say don't, don't leap at the first opportunity that comes your way if it doesn't match what you're desiring. Um, and especially if this person sort of talks down to you or sees you as a lesser or, or, you know, not equal to them. I just, I don't love that vibe. Something about this may have to do with the fire sign and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to, but so uh, give me a little bit more on this. <clears throat> Some of you are being very protective of a fire sign and Aries, Leo, Sag, especially a one in your family. Um, it could be, it's so funny. Do you know what I'm getting from this is you may have a family member, especially someone who's older than you, earth sign. So, um, you know, a mother, a father, a grandmother, an aunt, whatever. <clears throat> who's almost like being bullied at work or someone in their life is being mean to them or like, I, I don't know, it's almost like you're wanting to protect someone old because they're just, they're not able, I don't know if old is the right word, but I, it's almost the opposite of like, you know, when your kid is getting bullied on the playground and the parent wants to swoop in and save them. I'm getting the opposite. It's like there's a child being very protective of a parent here. Um, a parent who probably has very strong fire or you do. Anyway, can I get a little bit more on this too? And obviously those are two very different messages, but they might resonate. Ooh, okay, interesting. Wish fulfillment. Yeah, it, for some of you, it's like you're risking not listening to your intuition because I think you're so, I don't think desperate is the right word, but you're impatient. That That's the correct word. Um, this is knowing what you deserve, knowing your, um, whatever, your the salary you're willing to accept, the price tag, et cetera, et cetera. Knowing how you wish and desire and are willing to be treated in any relationship, right? Um, but it's almost like you, okay, this is more mes messages of, of protection too. <clears throat> I almost see this as like you're willing to sacrifice your wish fulfillment if there's a quick fix to the solution. And, and this says there is no quick fix. And that's not a bad message. In fact, I mean, your cards are so strong. Are you seeing this? Like nine of cups, 10 of pentacles, king of wands. These are excellent cards, especially, you know, business, but even potentially romance. I don't see tons of lovey-dovey vibes here, but it doesn't mean that it won't be that for some of you. Yeah, it's almost like you're willing to put the nine of wands on top of the wish fulfillment. And I mean, this card is much more tricky. Um, yeah, the nine of wands is moon in Sagittarius. So it's, it's almost like blocking. And because the moon is so related to intuition, it's like you're blocking your intuition. You're not listening to that inner voice because, because you might be being bombarded with sort of external energy or external voices or comments or criticisms. Or I just feel like your other people around you might be leading you astray when you need to listen and, and honor your own voice. <clears throat> there is an ending of a cycle here. And, and you know, with that, something may need to be sacrificed, but with that, you're going to get something. I don't know if it's in replace or at the same time, but it is an alignment with your wish for film. But I just, I keep kind of getting hold, hold for the right one. <clears throat> what? I don't know. Tell me more about this temperance card. Let's put one above and one below. <clears throat> If you just got into a relationship, and I'm just posing a scenario at you, I'm not even sure that this is the message. If you just got into a relationship and you're considering moving in with them or taking it to the next level, I'm not saying you can't. Overall, these are very positive cards. I will say there's going to be a disruption because of travel. Or there might be some sort of circumstance where you think you're, you're looking in this territory, but you can't find, you know, a house in your price or whatever. And so you end up having to look elsewhere. There's something about a delay. It's requiring you to be patient to accept some sort of contract, relationship, partnership. It, it's not, it takes you in a different direction. That's sort of what I mean about defies expectations. Again, really want to underscore, this is not like a negative message, but it, it goes in a different direction than you originally thought. So maybe that's why it's saying do a little bit more research maybe before you sign a contract. Like when you're ready for this, boy, are you ready for this? Like you have the money, you have the energy, the endurance, 
But right now, I, I you know, it kind of sounds silly to say, but I almost see this as like, just get through the holidays. Just like enjoy, your, you know, whatever you do or whether you celebrate or not. You know, the next couple of weeks, just just get through them. Just keep trucking. Like, practice patience with yourself, with the process. You know, keep your ears perked up for opportunities that come along because when it does come, you're going to absolutely be certain that it's the way to go. But if you're getting offers or ideas and you're kind of half in, half out, you're, you're practicing good intelligence. And I'm almost wanting to say emotional intelligence here um, because as much as this offer may sound good and it may... It may dazzle you with some sort of like, I'm almost getting like temptation, like, oh, well, you know, it doesn't quite meet your salary, but we're going to give you this vacation and we're going to give you that. And part of you is like, oh, okay, like I'm, I'm, I'm listening, I'm considering it. Let me, okay, let me like pass it back and forth and kind of understand it and try and envision it. And, but the other part of you is like, nah, nah, like, let me put up the blocker right there because it does, it really doesn't match what, what I've been dreaming of and what I, really what I'm worthy of. That's what I keep getting with King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and, and Wish Fulfillment. Like, this girl's sitting pretty, right? She doesn't look stressed or troubled because she knows what she wants, right? So anyway, I feel like I'm just reiterating what I'm saying here, but there's a huge message here to my earth signs this week to practice patience. Don't jump up the first offer that comes at you. Um, because I don't know, I just keep wanting to say you're simply worth more or there's something better that's, it's more in alignment with whatever you're aiming or trying to do here. Um, for some of you, I definitely see you trying to find a, a home, a residence, a new apartment. And I would say the same thing. I would not jump at the first one that comes along if it doesn't check all the boxes. <clears throat> and I'm not here to say that everything's always going to be perfect. But again, if there's this ambivalence or, ooh, I don't know, it's not quite right, but maybe I could make it work. Nah, like the whole maybe I could make it work thing. I don't think that needs to, to be a part of your negotiation process. I think when the right one comes along, it will far outweigh any negatives where you're, you're just going to be like, yeah, oh, absolutely. That's the one. That's the one. Um, so yeah, move forward with certainty or, or that should be sort of your cue that is, is a good opportunity when, when you're fairly certain, right? Life is all about risks and sometimes unexpected things come in, but that's, I think, all the more reason not to get, um, dragged into this sort of do I or don't I, because yeah, if you're having that much reservation, it's for a reason you're being asked to listen to your intuition here. For some of you, if you're looking for a job, it's saying can network with your friends, connect with your friends. There's some opportunity that may come along, again, with a little bit of patience, but it may happen quite unexpectedly. It might be a job that involves travel or, or you might be on the road quite a bit. You may work. <clears throat> I'm almost getting like I'm not a traveling salesman, but more or less like something you hop in your car every day and you have to go to this territory and then reach out to these clients. And it, it, it's quite mobile. Um, there's, there's a lot of movement or travel in it. Um, that's specifically for jobs. Others of you, again, you seem to kind of be in love or, or uh, I don't know, or, or you may have connected with someone and you're kind of getting a vibe that there might be something there. Again, I would say, um, I heard wait it out, but I, I would say this is probably going to go in a positive direction, but it might not be at the same timeline you thought. But I think once it picks up momentum, it's going to feel good. You're going to make some major strides in this relationship. What about this partnership? What can I tell? Have I called you Capricorn like 5,000 times? I don't know why that is. I just, I, I feel like I'm reading for Capricorns. <laughs> I'm sorry, Taurus and Virgo. It's not personal. You guys know I love you. Ooh, what is this? Everything is fine. Yeah, don't let the waiting period kill you. Um, and by that, I mean the negative thoughts, the pessimism, the, you know, woe is me. There's a dark cloud over me. Nothing ever works out. It's going to be really funny because some of you, you're, this, this whole negotiation process, you may sort of have a counter offer of, okay, well, can you do whatever, you know, an extra 5000 a year or what, you know, whatever it is, plug in the numbers as you see fit. And they might say no. And then you're going to be like, oh my God, I blew it. I shouldn't have done that. And then you're like, you may even feel like you should try and backpedal and get back this opportunity. And the thing is, if it was that easily dismissed, you know, by you just simply saying, I think I'm worth more or I want this or you need to treat me better. And this person is like, no, it wasn't meant to be like, you don't need to worry about it. Everything is fine. Right. Um, this waiting period is going to be I'm going to be honest, it's going to be a little bit brutal. 
if you allow it to sort of creep in to your shadow side, right? Uh, rather than practicing patience and optimism and being kind to yourself. And really guys, the key here is releasing things that are out of your control. You show up to the job interview, you put your best foot forward, you have your resumes, you're prepared, you're well-spoken, all that. If you get the job, great. And if you don't, it wasn't meant to be. You don't need to linger on the shoulda, coulda, wouldas because I'm telling you that is a waste of energy. Um, again, the right opportunity, you're going to know it. I would say almost instantly because the, the vibe, the feeling, the connection surrounding this energy, it's, there's, you're moving forward with more certainty. All right, I'm, I'm repeating myself. All right, let's get you another movie quote tarot. <clears throat> Although I do like the one from Up. Let's see. Three of Swords. So this one is from The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 1. I actually haven't seen this movie. It is the things we love most that destroy us. Because they mean so much to us, I guess, right? We put so much stock in them. And I think we put a lot of pressure on them to perform perfectly, right? We may put things on pedestals or idealize relationships. And at the end of the day, maybe maybe we're only human, right? <laughs> maybe things are naturally flawed and they can't be perfect as much as we want them to be. Um, so in a very, you know, earthy way, come prepared, you know, refine it. Um, <laughs> do all your earth-like uh, or earthy... Uh, a good word for it. <clears throat> the refinement process. See, now this feels kind of Virgo. <laughs> be steady, be consistent, be practical, be logical. But again, trust your intuition, listen to your intuition, practice faith. Um, and knowing when it is the right time to take a leap of a leap of faith or, or to go after something that maybe it is slightly risky. But the King of Wands is no stranger to that. But because he's the king, right? He's not the Knight of Wands. He's not messy. He's just not going to, you know, jump at any anything you dangle in front of him, right? The King of Wands is like, I'm going to wait for the one that I really want, but like, rest assured, I'm going to be hell-bent in getting it until it's mine, because that's what the King of Wands does, right? He's badass. Anything else? I feel like I should switch decks. <clears throat> Actually, let's give you some of these. <clears throat> this deck is so pretty. I love it. Whew, it's eclipse season, guys. It's been, it's been exhausting. <laughs> I'm actually in good energy today, but the last week has just been bananas. So again, thanks for your patience. All right, here we go. Any, any power words for, for my earth signs? Whoop, that flew out. What does this say? I am open to receive. I always see this as like tribal war paint, like get ready to go to war because you're going to have to fight for this. <clears throat> but remember that engage yourself in, in quote unquote battles, right? I don't mean physical altercations, but engage yourself in battles that are worthy of who you are and respect who you are, right? Negotiation process. Absolutely. Um, but the idea of kicking and screaming or, or begging and pleading for someone to stay or for someone to pick you. Absolutely not. That doesn't respect you, right? That doesn't, that doesn't respect your, your worthiness and all that. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I, yeah. Put on your war paint. That's, that's important. You're going to have to go out and fight for this. It's, yeah, this is an opportunity that it isn't just handed to you. You, Every time you struggle with this or meet opposition, you're actually getting wiser in the process, so you're more aware of what to look for. I'm actually seeing this as like an antenna or something like energy or, or uh, ah, this doesn't make sense, like vibrations coming to you via some sort of like antenna. So maybe that, again, has to do with intuitions or messages from the divine. I, I don't know why that came through, but it did. Um, and then I can change my thoughts. There you go. Glad to see that. Everything is fine. Tell yourself that, right? But you have to kind of like truly believe it, right? Um, what is that cheesy expression? I'm going to say it. You guys are going to cringe. But the whole thing of like when, what is it? When God closes a door, he opens a window. It's something like that. Like this is not just a closed door end of story. Absolutely not. There's something else. And the thing is, it's going to be so much better. But do you have the patience to wait for it? Um, do you have the determination to go and fight for it one more time, but maybe it's from a different source or a different person or a, you know, a different location. All right, one more, we'll wrap it up. <clears throat> for Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. My phone just, uh, lit up and it said something about LinkedIn. So I feel like that's a message for you guys. You may need to update your LinkedIn or, or that may be a connection, an opportunity to, to network with someone via LinkedIn. 
Uh, if you were looking for a job, of course. And then I have a higher purpose. I love this. This deck is new, and I don't think this card has come out yet. So that's really beautiful. All right, Earth Signs, that's what I got for you this week. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye, guys.